<laughs> hey, what well, guys, it's Fish here, and welcome back to some Soul Gun. Um, when we left off last, we fought a battle over here, did we not? I believe we did. I thought we fought. I think we fought a battle here, um, and absolutely slaughtered the enemy with all our cannons, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, that was a, a very good battle for us, and um, I will check that out later. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, so um, someone in the last episode actually commented giving me like a brilliant idea. I wish someone would have done it sooner, but thank you very much to that guy. Um, he told me, he said that I can use my vassal, if I create vassals, it will raise my daimyo's honour. But that's not the only reason which I'm happy with him, that he told me that. It's mainly because then if I get vassals, then I have allies. And if I have allies, then I don't have people attacking me from certain directions. And hopefully when my vassals can then increase in size. So that's sort of the idea, um which that guy gave me. So now, I'm planning, I just want to see the movement speed. Could I get to this place in time? Because how happy is this settlement? Do I need to start building? It's four happy, so it's not super happy. If I exempt it, it'll be a little bit, um, a little bit more. It'll probably be about eight happiness, and then um, I could probably just about leave it. But um, I don't want to leave it just yet. I want to sort of wait till winter's over before I really do anything crazy and declare war on anyone. Um, no, we're not declaring war, well, obviously at war with everyone. But before I actually sort of make my move to start advancing. I mean, my ships over here are going to be loaded up with some troops. Uh, that's a decent army. It's not a massive army, but it's not exactly a small army. That can take a nice foothold, um, I think. Yeah, I can probably get a nice foothold because I doubt they'll have any troops back here. And if I just take out these small islands first, then that can be uh, very beneficial to me. Because, I mean, if I can take this island, and that gives me a perfect invasion sort of plan... Um, direction as well to sort of definitely do a lot of damage. They're not happy but they're holding which is nice. They're 100% pro-emperor as well which is not great. I want them to be pro-imperialist and that's not going too far. Yeah that's not going too well. They're being influenced very hard. I might have to try to destroy um, I need to get rid of that. That's what I need to get rid of. That I need to, yeah, I need to get rid of that and then build something else in its place. That's why that place is so unhappy. I need to, I need to go through all my places and check, um, check that nowhere else is like that, because I do not want them being pro imperial. That's why they're so unhappy. They would obviously uh, be a lot happier if I didn't have someone telling them they should support pro, pro uh, support the emperor. That'd probably be uh, a much smarter thing to do. Yeah, just loads of these will be happening. Just all my places being bombarded, which is just annoying and slightly frustrating but they shall fall to my gun soon enough I was gonna say sword but who uses a sword nowadays um, so they're unhappy now I'm gonna have to get rid of that they just about make them happy and maybe get that increase spread of influence uh, wooden cannons we don't need wooden cannons we don't need a trading camp uh, we don't need industry and we don't need that so yeah let's get a police station there um, I might upgrade that in a bit maybe Probably soon enough, I will do that. Um, I have to be careful here because I can't really afford to do, really do that. I mean, there's already a rebellion there, they're just walking around. I don't have enough troops here to really kill them, so that is fine, really. Um, they're nice and happy, which is always lovely. They're unhappy, which is the bad thing. Um, I lose so much money though if I do that, but I can't really afford them to have another rebellion. So, what I will do is I'll get rid of this fleet quickly of them. Oh yeah, just get rid of that ship. All oh, my ships are taking a pounding. My entire fleets are just getting hammered at the moment. Uh, but the main army is there. Um, these ships can meet up so that this navy will be unkillable and I won't have to sacrifice. Because if you look at all my ships, all my ships are being destroyed. Let's move over the units at least um, to the more advanced, like the, the army of more ships, I guess. So let's stick them onto this dude because they have a lot more ships. Which is fine, and then they can make their advance. Two turns will it take? Will it take three? Take, it will take a hell of a lot of time to get over here. Okay, that's what, four turns? I think maybe three turns. Three turns to get there, which is absolutely fine with me. Um, I'm moving my foreign. Oh, hello. You coming to get me? Harass army. I'm not quite sure what I'd actually do, so probably best not do that. Um, they've got a small army here. Nothing mad. Let's challenge a leader in single combat. We will absolutely win that. Yeah, enemy killed, which is nice. Now we don't actually have a general, which will make them a lot easier to kill. I did not mean to do that. 
Um, and they don't even look like they have a strong army. This place is very highly upgraded. If I can get back into a vassal, that will be very, very much in my favour. Um, I might even recruit a levy infantry just to have a bit more safeguard here. Um, yeah, I think that's everything, though, for this turn. Because that's being, being built there, a police station. That should make that happy when um, when that is done. And then that's obviously the pro-imperial uh, emperor even is going down now. So that's uh, very, very nice for me. Um, I need to check for all my places. Pro-independence. Pro-emperor is going down. Hold on, let's go back a second. Yeah, independence is going up. Emperor down. Uh, in independence up. Independence up. Independence up. Pro Emperor, that's fine. That will all be going down. Independence up. Independence up. Independence up. Independence up. Yeah, everything's going good. Cool, that's all swimmingly. Um, I need to have to obviously look at this settlement now because, I mean, the settlement is super, super strong. It's got so many troops in. That's going to be impossible for them to take it. But it's just the fact that they've got so many armies next to me. It's just really annoying. And, I mean, these full, two full sacks, I don't know, actually. I could probably beat them in, in combat. But I actually have a general, which is the only annoying thing. Um... I mean, we still have four more turns before we actually have to be like go out and meet them. So there's still time. Um, so yeah, that's all cool. I'll probably just go ahead and end the turn. Yeah, let's go ahead and end the turn. There's little we can do, or little we need to do, in fact. Because, you know, no one's really making... We're playing a very defensive game until we can get that army to the bottom of the Satsuma Island. Um, and also, we'll uh, invade Hokai in the left of your screen and uh, make that our vassal. And hopefully they stand by us. I'm not sure how loyal the vassal will be to me. Um, hopefully because I've made it in a pro uh, imperial vassal, it should stay with me. Because I think if I did it before I turned independent, um, yeah, if, when I was imperial, I mean I made it my vassal, and then I turned independent. I'm sure it probably wouldn't stay with me. But because I'm now independent, I hopefully, well, I hope it will stay with me. I mean, next turn till summer's over. Um, they're taking a hell of a lot of attrition, so as soon as summer's over, we will go ahead and invade this uh, country, um, ASAP. I'm not sure what harass does, it costs me a lot of money. Oh, it, it increases, okay, that's quite cool, that's what I'm going to do um, when I actually do invade. Sabotage gate, that's quite a good thing as well. So when I um, actually do invade, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and harass the army, so it should uh, demoralise these units and uh, give them some casualties as well. So that would be very, very useful for me. And I will make sure I have a lot of fun doing it. So yeah, yeah, so as you can see, Pro Emperor is going down at quite a steady rate as well. It's going to go down to 88% next turn. So that should slowly increase um, increase the happiness there. And I will start making vassals next turn. So that should uh, very much go in my favour. So let's go ahead and move this over. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and move this over. We're getting there little by little. I mean, we can invade, yeah, two more turns so we can invade that, which is cool. The army will be ready to go. I mean, if I can kill the Sega before I invade the Satsuma, that could be very useful as well, just thinking about it. Because if the Sega are out, then that gives me a lot of money, because Sega are very rich. Um, from the campaign, I, I played with Fruit for a little bit. I mean, that's on hold now, but we hopefully will take, like, carry it on very soon. But, um, yeah, from the campaign, I played with Fruit. Um... They were a very, very rich nation. They got rich very early on. It's just because the Satsuma were so big and it was very hard for you to claim dominance around the Satsuma island because obviously the Satsuma already did. It was very hard. So the Sega sort of just takes all the islands. And I'm going to have to get rid of that army soon because it's just getting very annoying. Yeah, I know all my trade routes have been destroyed. But it's spring now, so that's always great. Let's go ahead and move the army over. I mean, like, as you can see, there's hardly any troops here. And if I can just keep on making vassals, then they should have armies. And it should just be very, very useful. Okay, so let's take the majority of this army. We'll take the red bears. We'll leave a bit here in case we actually do get attacked. We'll take this. Um, take it out here. I mean, they're still happy, which is amazing. I'm surprised there. We will do that. Enemy harassed. So they should be a little bit less, I don't know. Oh well, we shall push forward and we'll kill the army first and then we'll take on the city, I guess. Some of your army has defected and will now oppose you. Are you serious? Oh my god, that is so bad. I've lost that. That is... I've lost... Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so bad. Why? My general's so loyal. 
You bastard, I thought you... Oh my god, we're gonna have to retreat out of that. So that's pretty much just screwed me over so fucking hard. We're gonna have to get the hell out of there. Oh my god, that general was so loyal to me. He was like four or five stars. I mean, look at his stats. That is so, so bad. That's really screwed over my attack plans. I'm just going to have to fall back and try and hold this city. I guess that's the only real solution which can happen. Like, that's the only positive thing which can come from that. Um, we need to repair that. We don't have any money to repair that. Um, yeah, that's very annoying. That's upset me greatly. <laughs> um, how are you doing? Five, yeah, I can start taxing you again. That's cool. Oh, that's so annoying. Let's have a look. See if there are any other generals. Because I swear he was at least three or four loyal T. Uh, now I don't have a single general. He's got a lot of sons. I mean, they all had posts as well. Who are you? Let's not make you my heir. He's only five years old. Oh, it's just annoying. It really is annoying. It's really set me back. So, I mean, if I could have taken that city, then that could have been very, very useful. I mean, then I could have, what, made a vassal and then kept on moving and just making a lot of vassals all being under the imperial, I mean, the independent republic of Tosa. Oh, that is, that's frustrating. Oh, well. I guess we have to put it to the back of our minds now and crush them as they rebelled. That was, well, they were such good troops, though, as well. That's, that's the thing which has annoyed me. They were all, like, four chevrons. I mean, if that was my total rifleman, I'm going to be furious. And that army is getting very annoying. Uh, enemy raids. Yes, I know. I know. I know. Um, yeah, let's look back here. Yeah, look. Oh my god, that army. Yeah, look, that's my Tosa Rifleman as well. Let's fucking kill him, the prick. Yeah, thank you. You dick. Oh, that's just annoying. But these are going to have to go back. I don't have enough troops here to do anything, so we're going to have to go back a bit. Um, recruit some more. Le I mean, we only have levies here, which is annoying. But this place is getting me a lot of money, so I can't really afford to do anything else. I just have to get some levies, I guess. But then my agent is good, at least he's not being a traitor to me. Um, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and invade. Let's hopefully we don't... Yeah, we have no troops here, this is perfect. Can we just click off or do we have to go to the port? Um, disembark army, that's what I want to do. Okay, we have to go to the port to actually disembark it, but... Oh, we're getting hit by our cannons now, which is a bit annoying. Uh, that's a lot of cannon fire as well. That's not great. Oh well, we're stuck there now. Um, yeah, it's not going great. <laughs> like, that really did stunt my plans. But we shall persevere nonetheless. We shall push forward and hopefully slaughter them people who disobeyed the Republic of Tosa. I'm just thinking, if that, like, if that would have went my way, then we could have had at least two settlements just at the top and then started the Matasuka will be pretty much out now as well. They wouldn't be... Here we go, finally. And now I can just do that. And that army's not even dead yet. Oh my god, please just die. <laughs> Surrender in a minute. Oh yeah, shit, we need to push out. Enlist him, because I need a general. Shit, we're going to need to push out very soon. Yeah, we... Oh, I should have pushed out ages ago. Because my men are so depleted now. Oh, it would have been such a more clever idea to push out ages ago. Let's have a look. What are our odds now if we attack? Not great, but not bad. They got a little. That'll be easy to route. So yeah, what we'll do, we shall fight that very soon. But first, I want to fight this battle because it'll be nice and easy, and they'll have cannons, and it'll be fun. Um, whoa, that army's taking a pound in. Uh, disembark army. Why can't I disembark the army? How can I get this army off? <laughs> I just want to get the army off. Why not? Do I have to be closer to the port or what? Now can I get the army off? Oh my god, they're going to die. <laughs> Why can't I get the army off? This is just annoying. Why can I not get them off? Is it island impenetrable? Now can I get the army off? No, I still can't get the army off. This why can I get it off? It's not hard to land anywhere around here. It's just all easily to land. 
Why can't you just get off, please? <laughs> You're gonna, this army's gonna die. Yeah, we fucked the port up, though. Disembark army. No, we can't, because we accidentally attacked the port. Oh, if I lose that army, I'm gonna be gonna cry. I mean, I'm losing all, that na all the navy as well. Oh my god, this has just gone bad. This is just not going well at all. And now I've got a massive army. Kill the general, boy, the dick. Yeah, now I don't actually have a general there, which is fine, but that army is massive, especially with my fucking troops there as well. Ugh. Annoying, that's just annoying. I need to save up and upgrade this place, because this is my, one of my main theatres at the moment. So I guess I need to save up and just get that upgrade, but it's going to take eight turns to do, which is a very long time at this period. Um, I might maybe turn go left with some troops at the bottom. Because you can see I have a full stack in the bottom, sort of right hand corner. Um, I pretty much have a full stack there, so I might go um, have a look at what they have to the left of me maybe. Oh shit, no I need, oh my god, have I just lost that settlement in the far left? Have I just been starved out? I totally forgot about it. Oh no, <laughs> no! Oh, that's annoying. I totally forgot. Yeah, I've lost it. That is just annoying. Ah, shit. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I literally am such an idiot. At least that army's dead, but still, I just lost a full stack of troops there. Oh, no. Um, promote him, yeah. We need generals. <laughs> uh, we want to go civil, maybe? Yeah, let's go civil. Um, we need more money and shit. That's going to take two turns to do. And then stuff like this is going to take not very long at all. Seven turns for reforms. That's all cool. Administration gets lowered. I mean, we've already got Gatling guns now. So we just need to eventually get the money to actually use them. But yeah, as I was saying, I have a full stack here. Which I might definitely use. That's scary as shit there. But they're not very good troops. But it's just got my fucking cannons in, which has pissed me off. Um, yeah, I lost this settlement. I'm such an idiot. That would have been so easy to hold. Ugh, and now that army's going to come piss on me again. So, yeah. Their cannons have silenced as... I still... What do I... I don't want to be, like... I don't want to fuck it up and... Why can't I disembark it? This is really annoying. Why can't I disembark the fucking army? Sorry for me swearing, but it's not hard for me just to click disembark. Why can I not? Like, I don't see what is the problem with me disembarking the fucking army. <laughs> now my shit's getting blown up again. And if I just click on it, oh no, I still can't disembark the fucking army. Oh, I don't even care anymore. I'm just going to cry myself to sleep. Who's this faction? And someone I'm at war with, but I've never seen their colour before in my life. Um, yeah, no battle again, I guess. We can't do anything. That really fucked me over. I can't even fucking invade that place either. It's just, ugh, just annoying. Let me invade. I mean, my navy's gonna get killed, but it's just on the beach being blown to shit from fucking uh, naval bombardments. I mean, uh, naval port defences, that's the word I'm looking for. And they'll probably just land a full fucking stack or something. Go away. I mean, there weren't even a faction till a minute ago. Why? Like, I only see what? I don't even get that. Ah, oh, defeat. Oh, hello. Hello, full stack, which is right here. Why? Like, how could you get that far over? I don't even understand. Seriously. I've lost then. I'm not going to be able to fucking beat this army. It's just be full of shitty troops. And all I've got is infantry. Oh, it's just annoying. Why? Let's get some fucking Republic infantry to maybe hold that. I don't know, but I still probably can't invade with this army. I'm gonna just go fucking invade with this army. I mean, how hard is it to disembark a fucking army? Why can't I just. Oh, fuck this island, it can suck my dick. 
disembark army. Are you guys disem Where the fuck are you going? I told it to disembark here and it's going all the way over here. Are you thrill? And I can't even take that. Oh my god, why is everything going wrong? Oh, I'm going to have a little cry in a second. I don't see why I told it to click. I clicked that one and I said disembark here and it started riding off some random place. Oh, more ships. Oh, hello, dicks. Yeah, what are you going to do? I don't need to even fight that. Because I should not ever lose a battle like that. Even though it looks like I'm going to. No, I'm not. Good. I'm not even dead, though, which is the annoying thing. I could at least finish them off. Oh, another army attacking me. Lovely. It's really not going too well. At least that's done now. People should be a little bit more happy. Um... I don't need that at all, so let's start getting an administration on the go. Lower them costs, bro. Like, why is the ship all over here? Disembark, it's not hard. If we can just at least disembark here. Like, where are they going? Why are they going? All oh, is that the closest place they can disembark is here. Oh, okay, whatever. I'll just roll with it. The army's still not coming out, which is... Very good for me. Don't see why they're not. So let's just get some more Imperial uh, Republican infantry, I guess. And we just get as much as we can. And probably disband a few of these um, levies, I guess. I'll disband the two which aren't. They're still happy, though, which is nice. They happy, yeah, they're very happy. They're happy, but everything's just broken. That's going to cost me way too much to do. They're happy, which is nice, finally. Do I have some cav here? I do. So let's have a cheeky look. Hmm. Oh, well, let's just go for it. Why not? Let's take out a big bulk. And they can go and hopefully inspect that city. Um, they have been destroyed. Let's finish off this army. Um, I don't really want to risk it. I know it would be a really boring battle to watch, but I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm doing it. I don't want to risk not losing this army. This is my only foothold in northern Japan. I cannot afford to lose it. So I, I guess, I'm sorry it's a boring battle, but my cannons will just destroy them, hopefully. And that would be the battle, but I guess that would be the only battle because they wouldn't let me land my ships. I guess maybe because it's a military port, I had to destroy the port first or something, but that's just annoying. Like, you'd be able to land it, yeah, maybe take casualties when you're trying to land troops, so you should still be able to land troops. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, if I told it to land troops, it should land troops. I just take a lot of casualties. I know many. Obviously, if you're trying to invade somewhere with naval batteries, you're going to take a lot of damage. But that's just annoying, really. Very, very annoying. And that that army defaulting to the other people that that really set me back. So this episode has been very depressing. I do apologise. But I will make sure. I come back next episode with a strong army and I will start taking some battles. I mean, if I can if I can just start winning battles, it'd be very useful, like to actually taking key cities. That's what I need to do. And this is taking so long to load, I'll pause it and then show you guys when I'm actually in. Okay guys, so after about sixteen million years we finally got in a battle. Um I'm gonna knock I do not wanna fight in rain. I wanna fight in dry, because they've got mostly bow uh, troops and I've got mostly uh, musket. <coughs> Sorry about that. Had something in my throat. Um, so this is like the one loyal Royal Marine unit I actually have. And we've got some cannons up here. Load up all my cannons. Uh, infantry will stay pretty close because I don't want to be too risky. And there we go.
So cannons, how far until you can shoot? A little way. I mean, they've got quite a few cannons as well. Some parrot guns and some, some more parrot guns, which is fine, I guess. The only thing we have to really worry about is these fucking Royal Marines. My own Royal fucking Marines. If their cannons can hit me already, actually, I probably can. I should probably think about moving these back a little. And then we kill them Royal Marines. We make them wish they were never, ever, ever decided to retreat. That made no sense, that sentence, so I apologise. But we make sure that they all die. Every single one of them. Whoa, are you alright, Cav? I swear I wasn't even supposed to be hitting the Cav. It just absolutely destroyed it. But yeah, these Royal Marines are going to take a pounding, and I hope they all die. No, we don't want to be hitting the ninjas, we want to be hitting the Royal Marines. Yeah, they've, they've just been destroyed. I, and I am very glad they've been destroyed, the pricks. You could have had so much glory, and yet you have to... You just have to be hit by cannons. I feel sorry for them a little bit. Actually, no, I don't. They deserve every single cannonball they take. Now let's start hitting the bow. Like, the cavalry can still be very deadly. So we still want to, might want to be a little bit careful. But yeah, they're going to be getting destroyed. They're not... Yeah, they're dying so quickly. Now let's start hitting the Tosa Riflemen because I know they have the Tosa Riflemen have a really, really long range. That's quite cool though, how I have a British guy in command of my army. It's over here. It's very cool. It's a, it, they should be holding like a British flag or something. That would be quite cool. If they were just... Because, you know, if you look at my Tosa, he is a uh, Tosa flag. If I had maybe a, like guy holding a British flag, like the English colours or something, that'd be quite cool. Ah, oh, they're being absolutely demolished. Let's turn the cannons over, I guess, and start hitting the Bokai. I need to hit them cannons as well back there. I'll run up some infantry, I guess. Let's throw up the levy, I mean the line infantry. Apparently we've just won, <laughs> and hopefully we capture these cannons back as well. Because I mean, if I don't, if I don't, if I, uh, I think if I don't destroy them, I actually get them. So that'd be very nice if we actually capture them back. That'd give me all my cannons back. Actually, thinking about it, so that wouldn't be that bad. The infantry are running quickly. If they can get in position quickly and get a volley off, then that's them done. They're not gonna last. They're not gonna stand and fight. Yeah, they're pretty much all running now. Just fine. Just splendid. Yeah, everything's gone. Only the cannons. I should hopefully capture them cannons. So I didn't have to lose a single man for that. These cannons are just hella strong. And they look awesome as well. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and end the battle. I won't make you watch, uh, uh, watch me loading. So I'll see you guys back on the campaign map. Okay guys, so we didn't actually capture any cannons, which was a bit bit annoying, but we did slaughter that army. And they're still not dead, are you serious? I promote him, so at least they have a general there. How are they not dead? Really? Yeah, just fight that. Kill them, I don't care. And let's rush back to this city before anything else happens. Uh, we'll exempt them from tax a little bit, which maybe might stop them from rebelling this time. But... Either way, I mean, they're going to form up together, which is going to be awesome. I'm finally going to invade here in a turn. Um, I just, the only thing I have to watch out is for this army here. But if they're all levies, then my Republican infantry, I mean, I'm getting another three units. I mean, these bad boys which should hopefully be extremely strong. Um, yeah, they their stats look very good. So what I'll go, go ahead and do, I'll go ahead and end the episode uh, here. Just as I end the turn, because obviously you don't want us to be seeing an end turns phase at the beginning of the episode. That's always annoying. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for bearing with me. I know there's not as many episodes as you guys would like a, a week. Um, but I am really, really hard done by work at the moment. It's just really, really piling on. Because I've got my end of year exams uh, this, probably even the next couple of weeks. Um, actually, which is scary thinking about it. But I'm going to be doing a, a vlog soon, talk, just talking about stuff. Um, which should be quite, quite fun. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for sticking around. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Uh, it does mean a hell of a lot. And their army's disappeared. Hopefully it's decided to go invade somewhere else. It's over here. Hopefully they declare war on someone. And they have to go deal with them. 
But, yeah, anyway, nonetheless, I will see you guys next time. Um, so, yeah, fear, run away, fish out. <laughs>